Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you, Victor? Fine, thanks. How are you? How was your day? Um, I had to go to San Salvador. Um, so I was out of the house maybe like three hours. Yeah. And uh, then I returned, but everything was fine. Yes. Are you... There's more, there's more traffic, don't you? Yeah, there's more traffic. And especially on my way back, you know, it was raining kind of hard. So, um, uh, you know, the rain creates more traffic yeah. than usual. So, uh, so I had to stop under a bridge, stop for a little while, but then I, I kept on going. Yes, it, it was raining a little bit harder here, too. Okay, where, where do you, where, where are you, are you working right now? Yes, I'm working. Okay, are you doing but, home office or? Yes, I, I'm, I'm in home office. I don't, I don't need to go out. <laughs> okay. It's better like this. Yeah. Okay, and where do you live again, Victor? In Santa Tecla, aquí en Ciudad Merleot. Oh, okay, good, good, mm -hmm. nice, all right. Henry, how are you? Henry, can you hear me? Uh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> so, so when are you going? Uh -huh. Ask me. I, I I finished the the platform. The the platform. I I'm I I complete the final exam. Oh, okay. If, uh, a new message that is going to to prompt there. Okay, or... um, when you get, um, there is a part of the platform where it tells you that you have finished um, all the process completely, and it gives you the option to print a certificate saying that you finished the level already. Ah, okay. So, um, to check. Yeah, check carefully because it gives you the option like, okay, you have finished, blah, blah, blah. And it gives you an option to, to print uh, the diploma, as I said. Okay. Yeah. All right. So are you, are you going to change to the two hour program? That, that is, uh, um, and how do you say it? An intensive course, don't, don't it? Because yeah, it's two hours. It's two hours every day, right. Yeah, it's yeah, two hours and, and, every day. And what is the, the difference between this and, and the new one? In uh, time or well, iconic? actually, this is the new one because Inglés para el Trabajo has been in existence for what? Since 2013, I think. So mm -hmm. the difference is that uh, Inglés para el Trabajo, um, the book that we use is oriented to be put into practice in your office. So it gives you scenarios, situations of how you would uh, respond to uh, a specific uh, situation at work. Yeah, it needs okay. two hours every day. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and and we are in the intermedio dos, and there's right. the, the 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 next one. Or we're we going to start a new a new. No, if you if you finish intermediate two, you should be going to intermediate three. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, yes, I, I, I'm I'm considering to 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 incorporate. An, Yes, incorporating the new in the new course, but I, I just wanted to be sure that the in the platform is I'm finished, but it, it says that I already finished. Good. All right. So um, right there. So so if you decide, if you guys decide to uh, to go to the two hour program you should be going to intermediate um, three. Three, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, so everybody, good evening. Welcome back. Good evening. How was your day? Busy? Yes, busy. Okay. Yes, busy. Okay. So you guys are already back in your offices already? Or you have to wait a little bit longer? Uh, how how are you managing? I'm working on call and... So you're working from your house? Yes, from my house, but I always uh, stay on call. Okay, good, good. All right, so it's June 24th. We're almost finished with the month. Um, let's talk briefly about yesterday. Do you remember the topics we discussed? About adjectives for people. Yes, we were discussing the meaning of adjectives for people. Some were positive, some were negative. And in some cases, you could have said, well, it depends on the situation, you know, is it positive or negative. So, okay. Um, remember that grammar has eight parts, eight parts. And one of those parts is adjectives. Adjectives is one of the eight parts of grammar. And they play a very important role um, when you're using the language. Okay, um, any questions or comments about yesterday? No. We describe people. Yeah, we describe people using adjectives. Yes. Um, do you remember some of the names of those adjectives? Do you guys remember the list? And our worker. Our working. Uh huh. Organized. Okay. Organized. Yes. Forgettable. Uh huh. Forgetful. Forgetful. Uh huh. Okay. Rico. Critical, yes, critical. Generous. What is it? Generous. Generous, yes, generous. Is generous good or bad? Good, bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good for your heart, but bad for your pocket. Yeah, but being generous is, 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 I think it's more positive than negative at the end. Yes. So, that's all right. Okay, um, any questions or comments about yesterday before we officially start? No? No. Okay, so today we're going to be discussing a word that you are very familiar with and that I'm pretty sure that you use it very often when you are speaking English. And that word is this one here, because. Now, without reading, how can you explain the word because? When do you use because? If someone asks you, your son, your daughter, your little brother, hey, what's the meaning of because? How will you explain that word in English? For explain, for explain something. Okay, to explain something. Okay, someone else. Mm -hmm. To say so the different, the, the reason about an action. Okay, so if I ask you, um, 
Roberto, you were absent yesterday. Why were you absent? And then when Roberto answers my question, he will say, well, I was absent because, and then he explains why, what the reason was of why he was absent. So, okay. So it says the word because introduces a cause or reason. So um, can I have a volunteer read the first sentence? I'd make. I make a good journalist because I'm good at write, writing. Good. What is the, uh, the contraction of I apostrophe D? What does that represent? Good. I could. I, I would. would. Yes, I would make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. So does the first part of the sentence makes sense with the second one? I could be a teacher because I am very creative. Okay, I could be a, uh, I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. Oh, okay, creative. so the same, same question. Does the second part make sense with the first one? Because? So, yeah, but said, I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. Do they make sense? Do they match? Yes. Uh, don't really, because I could, I think that a creative is not a, a quality to a, to a teacher. Okay. Okay. A, so, a needed quality. Okay, all right. Okay, what about number three? Another volunteer to read? Only one, only one. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I am very impatient. Uh huh. So I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. So if you're not patient, maybe teaching is not a good idea for you. Because to be a teacher, whether you're working with little ones, teenagers, or adults, you must be patient, right? And the last well, volunteer to read the last one. I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions. Quickly. Okay. Um, any questions about these four examples? Like I said, because is what we use to introduce um, an explanation, a reason, sometimes an excuse. So it is what we use to introduce a reason of why you did something or why something happened. Any questions about these examples? No. No? Okay. So what is the meaning of a stock broker? Stock broker. Can somebody explain stock broker? It's a kind of, of agent that invests some money in, a, for example, in a virtual platform. Okay. Have you, have you heard about Wall Street? Yes. Okay. So in Wall Street, all, all the people that work in there, they're stock brokers. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you usually invest in projects, uh, buildings, different things, but you invest your money, but you have to be very fast. Okay. And it's necessary to make your decision right. for, the, for the money, right? Right. You have to analyze and ask yourself and, yes. and trust in your experience, like, is this going to be a good decision or not? So, because you're talking about big money, big money. Yep. Okay, um, any other questions or comments? No? No. Okay, so um, we have a document with, um, with examples. Can you see the word document? Yes. Okay. What's the name of the 
topic? Because. Because, exactly. So uh, we have 10 different sentences and for each sentence, you have to explain why things are the way they are. So for example, COVID-19 is spreading because what? Why do you think COVID-19 is spreading? Uh -huh. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. So what is one of the reasons, just one reason why you think that COVID-19 is spreading so fast? Because people don't use masks. Okay. People don't use masks. Good. Um, another reason why the disease is spreading? Um, be because people go to crowded places. Uh -huh. People go to all places. And the sad part is that they go to these places and they don't need to go many times. Yep. Okay. I don't know if you have seen on your Facebook account, if you have Facebook, that it's common that, you know, your contacts, they post like, look, we need blood for a person. They explain the topic of the blood they, they, they need, the type of blood they need. Um, but people are in need of help. Yep. Okay, so are the instructions clear with this example? Um, with this exercise? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are, are clear. All right. So I'm going to assign you to work in pairs, uh, discuss the 10 uh, sentences, and explain a logical reason why this is the way it is. So okay. here we go. Break the rules. Da -da -da. Here we go. No, Jaime. Hello, teacher. Can you share the, the picture the picture oh, of the WhatsApp group? Sure, sure. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. See. My goodness. Wait oh, someone already shared. Control.
country to uh, to deliver some products why that my sons and I uh, uh, deliver why what do you do uh, we distribute some fizzy drinks around all the city like oh, okay yes uh, we have a little business in the which we work together we uh, we help together and we afford together right okay yes that reason you can, I, you, you can give me a, you can give me a present of the a different juice a different drink uh, sorry i don't understand so well. you can give me a a, a, a drink mm. ah and that which we distribute no, you you can give me a drink, of, a drink. box of juice. What, what kind of drinks do you sell, uh, Robert? Uh, we uh, distribute um, this is carbonated drinking, for example, uh, Bicola and juices. Okay, oh, I need a soda. Yes, that reasons we have to live out to work these uh, quarantine days, right? We haven't stopped to work. Okay. But however, but however we have tried to respect um, uh, requirements and right to, to keep healthy in, into this, this quarantine time because we are aware that it's necessary to, to have a discretional uh, uh, movements, right? In every place that we, that we move, right? Okay. We always use we always use uh, mascarilla. <laughs> mask. Mask. Yeah, we we always use mask and gloves, hell, why alcohol and we sanitizer. To, Watch uh, that. The hands. I have today every hour to, to <laughs> buy uh, to the people of the. Agua cristal, because okay. don't use the mask. Oh, wow. What happened with Agua cristal? They put no. measures. They put in fix a tree at the fed and they put right. Okay, the number, number two. Number two. Hello. Can you hear me, Jennifer? Peter. Hello, Jennifer. Teacher, Ricardo doesn't answer to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me see what I can do. Hold on. Okay, Jennifer. Yes, okay. I'm going to send you to another room. Okay. I'll send you to room three. How was your day today, Jennifer? <laughs> favorite uh, usually it's all the day mom 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 please do candy i know that feeling <laughs> yes okay. and you your favorite person Yes, I can say that my favorite person is my son because even if I was stressed, uh, he he made me laugh and happy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, which number are you guys doing right now? The last one, teacher. Oh, the last the one. Ten. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me go check on the other one. Right. 
mixer with mixer it's so with crazy the with all the ingredients <laughs> the food is crazy that's okay that's okay okay the number four okay, read it. The number four Jaime many Salvadorians leave the country because in in the country in the country the then uh, they live don't have the opportunities to to grow okay Salvadorians live. yes Salvadorians uh, leave the country because uh, poorness and violence, violence, right? Yes. A reason so people have to leave the country and try to work out abroad, right? For example, to the United States. Right. Yes. Okay. Number five. English is very important because. Uh, because because it's language in around the world. Is because it's the universal language to communicate with okay. other people. Yes. It's a, it's a standard. It's practically the second language in every country in the world. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And also because English open a lot of new opportunities, right? It's good and excellent opportunities, for example, to get a new job, right? Yes, true. Okay. What about the six? Number six. Going to the U.S. illegally is not a good idea because you can you can die in the in the role. Yes. True. The way it is very difficult. You need yes. to to ride in, in a, a train and walk a, a long distance. Yes. Yes. Also, you can you you can uh, have a, a save money to to pay the 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 way. That's correct. Yeah, and nothing guarantees that you will pass. Yes. yes. I know I the uh, a people that only need one hundred dollars to go illegally for the United States. Only one one hundred dollars. Only one hundred dollars. Wow, it's a totally advantage. <laughs> why Why do they need so little? Because a hundred dollars is nothing to go all the way to the states. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, but he knows the, the wage, he knows the country, a different town, towns for go the, to the United States. Okay. Then he has, he has a, uh, some experience. Then he had to go several times, maybe. Yeah. She said that it's very interesting, very interesting the, the, the travel, and they go to the, they, he went to the United States around five, five times. Uh, the police had to tell the world. Police were turning ahead. So he has gone More five, five times. I had the opportunity to travel five times. I had okay. the opportunity to drive, to travel illegally to the United States, but I I I never I never liked the idea to go illegally to the United States. I always think that one day for that I, I will have the opportunity to travel, but in a normal I have a a legal a way. That is most important. To do. I prefer to stay in the country. What, what well, was? I guess I I have. What was the last part you said, Henry? Sorry, I can hear. 
Uh, I couldn't hear what you said. Can you please repeat? Okay, I, I, I have a fear to go to the United States illegally because I prefer staying in El Salvador because it's very dangerous, the, ah, okay. the, the travel. Yes, that's true. And, yeah. um, and, it's a big uh, reason. There, there, there are bad people go illegally to the United States. Yeah, Mexico is, is, is dangerous. I mean, especially with the cartels and, and all the uh, many things, many things that could happen to you. Yes. Yeah, sometimes people hate Salvador. And, uh, Yep. And traffic there. Okay. Right. Number seven. Can we? Hello. Hi. Are you guys finished talking? Yes, we finished. Yes, teacher. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, any questions about the exercise um, we were doing? So, if we analyze number two, Salvadorians love pupusas because why? Can Can you finish that Perfect. sentence? Uh huh. Go ahead. Those are very delicious and the ingredients are only. Okay, they're very delicious and? The ingredients are unique. Good, and the ingredients are unique. Very good. Um, do you prefer rice pupusas or corn? Corn, I prefer corn, corn pupusas. Corn pupusas. Yes. Uh, and what is your favorite, cheese, mixed? or the ones with plants? Mix. Cheese with loroco. Uh -huh. And cheese with loroco. Only so cheese good. with garlic are very delicious. Oh, sure. Yeah, garlic. <laughs> it's oh he is healthy for the blood pressure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's true, I, I completely agree. Garlic is, it's got that magic in it. Okay. Yeah. What about number three? I wake up very early or late because someone else? If you wake up early, why do it? Because I am, I am lazy. <laughs> okay, all right, because I am lazy. Or you can say I wake up late because I'm not working. So it's all right. What about number four? Many Salvadorians leave the country because. Mm -hmm. Finally, so, because uh, the violence. Violence, yes. That's yes. the main reason. That is the main yes. reason, violence. I think that, you know, it can be. Because uh, they see a. Uh, what do they see? Because they see a big opportunity to uh, gain uh, a lot of money. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, um, you know, violence is the number one reason. And then yes. second is uh, financial situations, you know, like. Uh, so violence and money is, is the main reason why Salvadorians leave. Yeah. Okay. But it was uh -huh. very easy. It, it, it was easy or more uh, suitable to travel to the United States 20 years ago than now. All right, right. Yeah, definitely. Sure. You know, if you had the money, 
uh, the chances of arriving to the United States, it, it, it was very high. But now it's different, you know, yes. even if you have the money, you risk the money, you know. Yes. And you're talking like seven, eight, nine thousand dollars that you can lose it in the blink of an eye. Yeah. Okay, someone else, someone who hasn't said anything. Why is English very important? The ones that are quiet today, English is very important because. Uh huh. People. Why is English important? Because it's a uh, universal language to communicate with other people around the world. Exactly. It's universal language. So you can go to Russia, Brazil, China. If you speak the language, uh, your chances of communicating with other people are way bigger. Yes. Patricia, can you, you hear know, me? Uh, uh -huh. If you know English, you have more opportunity to work in different countries. Exactly. Yes. That's correct. Mm -hmm. All yes, right. English is open. English is open. A, a lot of new opportunities and very important, important opportunities. Right. Right. Good. Now, number six, going to the United States illegally is not a good idea because, because somebody... it's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous. Because the people you can, die. You can lose the, 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 the life. Okay, people die. You can lose your life. So the risks that people take are not only financial, you know, because nobody's going to take it for free. So you have to pay. So there is a risk that you might lose that money, but even worse, it's your life, it's your body. Yeah. Okay, so many people have two jobs because what? They have to pay bills. Yeah, they have to pay bills. And sometimes uh, one job is not enough. Okay. Number eight, some people say that Christmas is the best time of the year because what? What is your opinion? Because... Uh, have a meeting with our families. Okay. Someone else? Another explanation why people think that Christmas is the best time of the year? In December, most of the people uh, become crazy. Why? Uh, because most of the people think that year is finishing and he try to finish the year as well as possible. Mm -hmm. and improving relationships by buying new things i don't know about that like it's a spirit a new uh, spirit that comes to to everybody right <laughs> right okay good uh what about number nine it is a good idea to have health insurance because why is this a good idea Somebody, anybody. You guys are very quiet today. It's you are uh, now when you can see when you sick. Uh huh. Yeah. You're sick. You know, you, it's a good idea that you have health insurance. It helps you a lot. Yes. Yeah, because uh, we uh, we never know how we are going in the future will will pass, right? And it's it's a good idea to be prepared for the future because to face any bad situation, right? Right. Good. And who is your favorite person? And why is this person your favorite one? Everybody has a favorite person. Or not necessarily right. one, but you can say, well, I have two favorite people, or I have three favorite people. So can you mention one? 
why this person is one of your favorites? In my case, my sons. Okay, good. How many sons do you have, Rick? Oh, because um, they are uh, a very good example of working very hard. In this moment, right now, they are working. Okay. Yes. All right. Anybody else? Favorite no. person is uh, is my family because I spend time with them. Right, right. And usually, uh, whenever you have a bad situation, you know your family is, is always there for you. you know? So it's it's a there is a strong tie between your family and yourself. All right, um, anybody else wants to comment on one of these 10 sentences? Any questions or comments? No? Okay. No. No. So now with this quarantine, um, some people have lost weight and many people have gained weight. Now, what is, uh, what is the main factor why people gain weight? Why do you think people are overweight? In this quarantine time? Uh-huh. Oh, because uh, like, as everybody is into the house, it, the, the time, we feel that the time is, is longer right and then it, it seems that you become hungry <laughs> okay anybody else wants to give your opinion why are people overweight with this quarantine Be because because people don't uh, practice any sport right that's a good or, reason and they in como se, how, how do you say se vuelven sedentarios they become lazy or sedentary sedentary yes Okay, so that's going to be our last activity for today. I will show you a set of questions that are related with eating. So let me see where is that um, image eating right here. Okay, do you see the questions? Do you guys see the questions? Yes. yes. Okay. So I will assign you to work together in pairs. So I will, <laughs> all right. So here we go. Henry. Changes with Jennifer and Rick will change with Victor. Here we go.
Well, I prefer uh, dinner. I prefer enjoy the in the lunch because you you have a. I have permission. Uh, so. <laughs> well, in my case, I think that I don't have an and uh, and a specific time favorite because there's a lot of kind of food that we can eat in any time, uh, but uh, at breakfast, uh, lunch, dinner, yeah. I can eat a lot. So <laughs> that's not my problem. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, do you have a midnight snack? In my case, um, no. 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 <laughs> Once that I, I'm asleep, though, anybody yes. wakes up. Yes. <laughs> but some people have this practice. Well, in my case, if I I wake up at that time, maybe I, I'm hungry. So I look for <laughs> really? something to eat, and I I used to I used to to work at night, starting at eleven p.m. So in the in the midnight is a good time to eat anything to be <laughs> wake up <laughs> to stay wake up. <laughs> um. So in the dinner I can relax. Yes, I think the same because it's the best time to eat in a in a, a calm way, right? You feel more relaxed, right? You can watch TV mm -hmm. and you can watch TV yeah. and enjoy your, your dinner, right? You can uh, put off your shoes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is most relaxing. Sometimes okay, yeah. I, I forget I forget take the the breakfast. Really? Yes. And what time do you eat? Drink a coffee. So you so you so you don't have breakfast sometimes. I forget the the, the breakfast, only drink a coffee. So okay. I remember to take my my food in the lunch. Oh uh, my I goodness! Say, oh, I for, I forget the eat in the breakfast. Uh huh. Okay. You I, have I, a, uh huh. You have a a hurry morning, so to speak, because you only w wake up, you run to the to the bathroom, you take your your bath your bath. And you only go out. Don't remember eating. I I wake up every morning, but my stomach is sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know people that if it's too early, they don't have any appetite, and they wait until ten o'clock, ten thirty, sometimes. Yeah. In my case, I have to, to, to take my breakfast, right? Because my working day is very hard. If I don't take my breakfast, I I go to work very, uh, I don't know, stressed, hungry, tired. Anxious. For me, it's very, yes. And for me, it's very important to take my breakfast. It's very early. But I try to, to eat it. The doctors and the specialists say that the, the most important uh, the most important time to take a food is the breakfast. Yes. But in the morning I don't I don't have a time hungry. Ah, okay. okay. Only need the coffee. This all oh. ah, okay. It's enough. <laughs> Yeah. And, and do you put sugar in your coffee? Yeah. of sugar. So I I need to you say the heart? 
live. I need to to live. I need to leave the the sugar because I need ah, to reduce okay, okay. of fat. Okay. Yeah, it's good. If if you don't really need sugar, it's good that you leave it. Yes, it would be correct. It's a good idea to try to read it quite. Yeah, and, and, and coffee and with, I, with something else is not coffee. Yeah. All right. Okay. And what about you, Jennifer? Yeah, it's true. For me, there's no in my house actually, but my mom is mad a lot when my brother and I left dishes in our, our room. So I only <laughs> think that. Okay. Because, but there's not any rules here. <laughs> Are you a slow or fast eater? I am like a soldier, <laughs> fast eater. <laughs> yes, in my case too, I think that we spend more time cooking or preparing the, the, the meals than eating. They're, they go fast. I think all the, the mans uh, are uh, this, day, this way. Yes. Yeah. Where are you, Jennifer? Uh, uh, for me, I'm a slow e eater, eating. I don't oh. know either. <laughs> yeah, a bird yeah. slow. Because you are a woman. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And you, uh, teacher, you are. Uh, slow a, or no, I, I usually eat fast, you know, like when we sit at home, uh, I'm always usually the first one to finish eating, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and my wife, she hates if I wake up, if I get up uh, from the table and they haven't finished. So sometimes I have to think about an excuse so I can leave the table. You know, and uh, because the children, they get up and then at the end, she's alone. So, but I'm a fast eater. I'm a fast eater. Yeah. Yeah. And I eat whatever. I'm, I'm not a fussy or picky eater, like number nine asks. <laughs> yeah. And la the last of the finish to, to eat, uh, wash the, the, the dishes. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was <laughs> younger, you know, like uh, I have three brothers and myself, four boys, and sometimes we will be playing or something and we will come to the table without a shirt. And I remember my mom always sending us to the room so we could put on a, a shirt so we could eat um, decent. All right, let me check the other room. In my house, but I, I bought a machine to make exercise. So I to make different things to, to, to uh, I don't know how they say, cansarse. I get tired. Tired. Okay, I need to make exercise to avoid, I to avoid get, get tired. Okay, to avoid getting get tired. tired. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, the next one. Uh, who do you like eating with most? Okay.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's nine o'clock okay. already. Remember that I owe you 15 minutes from yesterday and 15 minutes from the day before. So if you guys agree, we can uh, connect those 30 minutes on Friday if, if it's fine with you. So we will talk about this tomorrow when we connect again. Um, so any questions or comments about today? No? No teacher. No teacher. All right, so thanks a lot for making the time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Don't be absent. Okay, okay, teacher. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.